it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very striking looking um, 1883 um, uh children's book of prayers, meditations, and conscience searching, as you'll see. Uh, it's called The Star of Childhood, written by a priest, and it has this rather nice sort of aesthetic movement, um, stamped and gilt sort of um, bold cover on it. Um, the condition is, as children's books often are, it's been thumbed, there are some stains, there's one section missing here, but everything seems to be, not missing rather, loose, everything seems to be present and correct. Um, and there we have it, uh, although, as I say, pages are loose, um, but the book is, as I say, called uh, The Star of Childhood. Um, if I can get to the title page, The Star, come on, the Star of Childhood, there we are. A first book of prayers and instruction for children compiled by a priest, published 1883. Um, and there it is. It's got prayers and meditations. Remember, little child, that you are God's own child and that he is pleased when you are happy and that he grieves when you are sad and so on. Um, there's a little tear there, but there's the creed, all the basic prayers, morning prayers, prayers for every occasion, hymns. Uh, and then there's this wonderful page of questions for the child on the day past. Have I been quite obedient today? Was I good at lessons? Was I good at play? Have I done anything unkind to my brothers or sisters or to anyone else? Was I naughty with nurse? Was I good at meals? Is there anything else naughty that I have done today? Have I done anything naughty today that I ought to tell my mother? And so it goes on. Prayers, Holy Communion, there's a catechism at the end. Uh, it's an unusual, scarce item. Uh, it's also illustrated. There are various little illustrations throughout of the various sacraments and Bible scenes and uh, all sorts of informative religious things and prayers for every occasion, uh, prayers in sickness, prayers for the departed, prayers for others when they're sick, and there are more cheerful ones, praising God uh, every day of the week. So there it is, a rather charming, distressed but charming Victorian children's prayer book with a lovely cover. Thanks very much. Bye.